Hey folks, I'm Dennis. One of my other videos is a review on a new Husqvarna YTH22V46 lawn tractor. I've got 106 hours on mine now, so I thought it might be good to do a review after a good bit of use. I'm pretty rough with my tractor. I use it to do like some light bush hogging. I cut out in the woods. I'll take you out in the woods and show you the kind of cutting that I do along with my lawn just to give you an idea of the abuse that I put this tractor through. Uh, it's definitely not recommended to do the kind of cutting that I do with it, but it'll give you an idea of the durability of the tractor. Um, and I'll kind of go through the things that I've found that I like and I don't like about the tractor after having used it for uh, quite some time now. As you can tell from looking at the tractor, it's uh, not as clean and it's been abused a fair amount the the uh, front guard there that covers up the muffler and uh, protects kind of the front underneath the uh, the engine um, it's been kind of beat up I've caught it on several stumps and bent it pulling it back um, the tires have held up well the the chassis and the frame have held up very well the deck has done well um, I've had no real issues with the uh, with no problems at all with the tractor. Uh, the seat remains comfortable. Um, no problem with the seat. I don't have any tears or rips or anything like that. As you can see, and hopefully see right there. I've got 106 hours on a uh, very dirty hour meter. I've had no problems with the uh, transmission, shifting tires, nothing like that. The deck. I've replaced the blades a couple of times, changed the oil a couple of times on it. I have not cleaned it lately. As you can tell, I got a pretty dusty environment that I cut in. It's uh, it's pretty nasty. The, uh, the only things that I've had break is there's a, there's a line that's on the bottom of the gas cap that lets you just hang the, the cap over the edge, uh, keeps it from falling. That... Uh, broke off the little tab inside of the cap there broke off and that's down in the bottom of my tank uh that happened after about uh six or eight months i guess lights still work no problem engine cranks fine i'll crank it up here in just a minute the the one everything that i that i referenced in my first review i still absolutely love about it um, i like the step through design i like the seat the fact that the seat's adjustable it's got an adjustment right here where you can slide the seat forward and back if you're sitting in it it slides real easy the cruise control is pretty nice i think i mentioned this the hydrostatic transmission is fantastic uh no problems with uh greasing the front end or the the one of the things that i that i wish they would do differently is this this uh cup holder it's not deep enough for a bottle of water without being worried about it falling out if you're just riding in the lawn it's fine but if you're out in the woods or if you're doing real bumpy terrain, um, if your water bottle is, is more than half full, it tends to want to bounce out. So I wish that Husky would, would make this thing deeper. There's enough room underneath there to make it deeper. Uh, it's fine for uh, Coke or beer or something like that. If it's a can or if it's something in a koozie, that's fine. It'll stay in there. But I just like to drop a bottle of water in it. Otherwise, so far so good. No real problems. Well, no, no problems at all. Um, I'm going to crank it up. Well, probably won't. it's not gonna let me do it sitting off on the side. I'll let you hear how it sounds. Um, put it up in choke. You have to engage the uh, parking brake to get out of the seat. I'm about eight feet from the mower that's at full throttle and that's at idle
So that was a cold start. As you can see, cranks up fine. I've had no problems with the engine whatsoever. And uh, and everything's just fine. So anyway, my original review stands. I uh, I like the tractor. It's a, it's a good piece of equipment. Um, I'm going to walk you out into the woods a little bit and show you what I cut. This whole area here was kind of kind of woody. Um, matter of fact, like this this here is typical of how the back of our property has been. It's real viney, got a lot of small trees and junk like that. Um, I cleared this path out with the tractor. Um, you know, I, I would just run over this kind of stuff and cut it. If it's uh, if it's an inch or so in diameter or smaller, I'll just let the tractor cut it, no problem. I'll walk you back and show you some of the rougher areas not that this is that relevant but it does give you an idea of how i've kind of abused the thing all of this area like right here i didn't cut that yesterday but it's been cut in the past all of this area through here see i, I clear all of this out with the tractor and and again you know it, it uh it started off looking, you know, more like an area like this, uh, you know, like this kind of stuff, the, the places that aren't cut. Um, so it's not, well, it doesn't look bad now, but when I first started it, this stuff was rough. I keep a lot of it cut. I've got beaver back here and all this kind of stuff. So, you know, like all of this kind of area here, I haven't cut yet. But I'll start pushing through that uh, next time I cut um, some of this other area. You know, that's fairly clear because this part's been cleared out a bit. But, uh, you know, things like this, I'll cut. I'll run over that and cut it down. And It's not a bush hog, but I certainly kind of treat it like a bush hog. Um, I, don't, I probably don't run over anything over an inch, maybe inch and a half in diameter. Um, I got to get through those blackberries. Um, I've gotten some of that cleared out with the tractor a little bit right there and a little bit more back over here that I started. We had a bit of a flood, so it kind of set me back. But like I've gotten through there uh, with the tractor, I got to finish clearing that off. Um, I just kind of wanted to follow up. It's, it's always good to see if somebody stands by their original review after a certain period of time. So um, <laughs> it's held up fine and I'm still happy with it. I'm glad that I bought it. So far it's been worth my money and, um, and I would go buy another one. Um, I would encourage you to look at this when you're looking for a, uh, for a lawn tractor. Not to say it's the best one out there, but my experience so far has been very good. So thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Please leave some comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your experiences are. Um, and uh, then I'll keep uh, I'll keep doing some videos on various things uh, regarding this tractor. So thanks a lot. Appreciate you watching.